an oscilloscope is a device that lets us visualize sound waveforms. In this video, we will take a look at SoundCard Oscilloscope, a Windows-based shareware program for visualizing and analyzing audio signals from a PC microphone, audio player, or other input source. This is the SoundCard Oscilloscope main window. Notice that as I talk, the louder the sound, the greater the height or amplitude of the waveform, and the softer I talk, the lower the height or amplitude of the waveform. Also, the lower the pitch or frequency, the more spread out the waves, and the higher the pitch or frequency, the tighter the waves. For example, or whistling. Look at the waveform as we strike a set of bar chimes. Triggering lets us freeze a waveform so that we can analyze or save it. We do this by moving the little yellow triggering cursor um, up to the triggering level. If we move it up a bit, notice that the waveform sticks at the triggering level and in auto mode jumps back down to zero. If we want to uh, freeze it, we can switch the triggering mode to normal. And note that now when we strike a sound, it will stay at the triggering level uh, without dropping down until we strike it again and uh, create a sound that's louder than the triggering level. If we click on the Run Stop button, that will uh, freeze the waveform so we can later analyze it. Next, we'll trigger a waveform and zoom in and out to analyze some of its properties. Here's a waveform, and then we'll click on the Run Stop button, and that will freeze it on the window. Now we'll look at the Amplitude knob, and the Amplitude knob, if we click and turn on it, uh, will increase or decrease um, the height of the waveform. We can also type into the box uh, to change that property. Next we'll look at the time, uh, which changes how many seconds there are across the screen, uh, which is typically measured in milliseconds. Uh, we can zoom in or out by changing the uh, time across the screen. Uh, we can also type into the little box below to set that directly. Next, we'll look at the measure tools located at the bottom, and we'll measure hertz and voltage. If we click on hertz and voltage and then click on frequency, we'll see up in the top left corner of the waveform window uh, a measure of what the frequency of the wave is. In this case, we see it's 440 hertz, or an A. Next, we'll bring up cursors, which we can use to either measure time or voltage in the waveform. Uh, we'll click on time. And this lets us measure, for example, how much time there is between the two cursors um, here uh, measured in milliseconds. And it also so shows the reciprocal of that, uh, which would be a frequency in hertz. So if we wanted to know the time between two troughs of a wave, we can do it that way. Finally, let's trigger a waveform and then save it to a file. So we have the waveform and it's triggered. We'll go ahead and uh, hit the Run Stop button to stop it, and then click on Save. This brings up a file browser. Um, we'll save it to the desktop. And then when we go look at the desktop, we see that there are three files, um, a JPEG, which is in color, which we'll open. We'll go back. Also a black and white version, JPEG. And finally, there's a CSV file that can be opened in Excel. 